I often will complain to my, well, I mean, I'll often complain, but I'll often complain to my friends that there are not that many like good comedies these days, at least for me, for my intellect, personality, lifestyle, uh, taste. It's all seems to be just, they're either just stupid or gross or a combination of the both. And I, I see the trailers and I'm just like, eh, that's not for me. And then came a trailer for American Fiction, which is in theaters now, starring Jeffrey Wright, directed by Cord Jefferson. And it was, I'm like, this looks like a smart comedy. I need to go see that. So I did, and now I'm gonna ramble about it. So American Fiction stars, as I said, I told you once, Jeffrey Wright as, who you may know from many things, including Felix Leiter in the Daniel Craig Bond films. Jeffrey Wright stars as this writer, college professor, who is not finding a lot of success in the literary world, but is uh, sort of displeased to see the books that do find success from African-American -Ameri African writers seem to just lean into the worst stereotypes of African-American uh, or African-Americans in pop culture, and he wants to be better than that. So as a joke, out of frustration, he writes a, as just what he thinks to be the worst, most stereotypically black book he can, and gives it to his uh, agent or his, yeah, let's say agent, to uh, just to read and, and maybe just send out. And the agent's like, nobody's going to read it. This is this is terrible. This this reads like a parody. But they send it out and all of a sudden the book publishers are really interested. And this becomes this journey of this guy who finds starts finding immense success doing what he thinks is the worst possible thing he can do. And does he go with it for the dough? Does he steer away from it for his own uh, self-respect and ideals? And what does it mean to be an African-American in America in 2023? All of that and more are contained within this film. It's very smart. It's very funny. Wright is really good in it. And something I noticed while I was watching the film, so a lot of this film is, is what I just said, but it's also Jeffrey Wright going back to the Boston area and spending some time with his family. His mother is portrayed by Leslie Uggams, who I haven't seen in anything in forever. Great to see Leslie Uggams again, let alone on the big screen. Uh, his sister is portrayed by Tracy Ellis Ross, and his brother is Sterling K. Brown. And they're a dysfunctional family, like any dysfunctional family or like any family. They've got their quirks and their their loves and their beefs and their long, long time uh, issues. And he's sort of trapped there for a while while he's trying to get his life and his career together. He's been placed on sabbatical from the uh, college for basically uh, <laughs> challenging the opinions of his students and, and, and making his students feel uncomfortable with, you know, reality and things like that. And uh, so he's he's back home, he's dealing with family, and I'm watching that part, portion of the film and I realize, well, this isn't really about what the trailer said it would be about, and I don't care. This is really good. Like, and I realized as the movie was going along, I'm like, you know, if it was just the stuff about the book is really funny and makes a lot of good points and is really good. But if the movie didn't have any of that, if it was just about the Jeffrey Wright character and his family, it would probably be just as good a movie. And that says a lot when your subplot is as strong as your main plot. It's not a deficiency to me in any way. It's just really good and everybody in it is good. And the writing is very real and funny. And it's not this outrageous kind of film where it becomes like Tootsie or something, where he's on the cover of Time, and he's doing this and he's doing that. It's a very realistic portrayal of, of how all this would go. And it, it's serious at times. You know, a lot of the issues are serious. The family drama is serious. The, the issues people have with each other are serious. But there's a lot of joy amongst the sadness and the seriousness, like life itself. And it's just a really good movie. It's a movie I hope does well. It's a movie I'm sure will be You'll be hearing about it a lot when it comes time for awards season and all that, because, again... It's the rare smart com I gasped a little. I'm so excited. It's the rare smart comedy that you see these days. So I would recommend it if you can find it. It's, it's I think, probably mostly going to play in art house theaters, but I think there are some AMCs I've seen running this too. In theaters, or if you watch this much, much later, streaming American Fiction.